Naruto, 10 characters who would make great Among Us crewmates. Good crewmates are able to sniff out the imposters in Among Us. Which Naruto characters would be up for the challenge? The Naruto universe is full of perceptive and heroic characters who are capable of safeguarding their allies and providing unique utilities in any team environment. Whether through excellent jutsu or shrewd intuition, their abilities are a necessity to win any battle. As such, they would make for perfect Among Us crewmates by being vigilant in staving off the insidious imposters and ensuring that tasks are completed in a timely fashion. By identifying the characters who would be qualified for such a role, we can better appreciate how they've contributed to the canon series. 10. Danzo would be able to use the Izanagi to report whoever killed him. Danzo's Izanagi may render him a capable imposter, but it also has vast potential as a crewmate. With multiple potential charges. He would be able to survive being killed and report his attempted assailant directly in an emergency meeting. Moreover, he could also use his Sharingan to restore himself after being falsely accused and ejected as most game modes will depict whether or not whoever was voted out was guilty. This would effectively make him impossible to kill or accuse safely. 9. Shino's bugs have excellent scouting utility to report incidents. Shino's bugs may have been most popularly known for their offensive utility, but they also have considerable scouting potential. He used them to cheat during the Chunin exam's written test and also during various missions alongside his allies. Should he scatter them across the map, he would effectively be able to place security cameras on every corner. This would make it impossible for imposters to kill anyone and allow the crewmates to complete their tasks safely for a slow but inevitable victory. 8. Zetsu was a talented scout who could manifest through solid objects. Zetsu was the Akatsuki's most reliable scout for his ability to phase through solid objects and observe events unseen. This would make him an ideal crewmate since it would allow him to follow people of suspicion and lie in wait until they made a kill. In theory, his natural gifts would render him a perfect crewmate. Especially since he could complete his tasks and potential sabotages more expediently. However, if his comrades confuse his irregular and unpredictable movement patterns with venting, he would be placed in jeopardy. 7. Shikamaru is a brilliant tactician with a strong intuition. Shikamaru was among Kanoha's brightest minds and the leader of the Sasuke recovery mission. Throughout his trials whether before Shippuden, against the Akatsuki during the Great Ninja War, or even after it, he proved an ability to think critically and delegate tasks responsibly. This would render him an excellent leader in identifying the imposters of the group. His shadow possession would be particularly useful since it would allow him to bind a murderer near a corpse until someone stumbled by to discover them. Doing so would validate the impending accusations. 6. Chio could revive the dead at grave cost. Although Chio may not have many innate abilities that would lend to her usefulness as a crewmate aside from a veteran's intuition and savviness. Her ability to resurrect the dead would be unfathomably useful. Similar to what she did to Gara, reviving a crew member even at the cost of her own life would allow them to incriminate their murderer and have the threat of the intruding force. In this regard, Chiyo's presence and Jutsu would be invaluable as long as she isn't the first to die. 5. Shikaku was the leader of the Allied Shinobi Forces Intelligence Division. Shikaku demonstrated a fantastic ability to rally and organize groups of distraught people, as proven through his leadership in the Fourth Shinobi War. Alongside Inoichi, he was responsible for directing the Five Nations against the Edo Tensei threat and deducing his enemies' next moves. With an even greater tactical mind than Shikamaru, he would have all of his son's advantages with the benefit of experience to match. Given how Shikaku wasn't afraid of the Bijou bomb, he would even be willing to risk death in order to find and expose the imposter. 
4. Heiate knew how to be in the right place at the right time. While Heiate Gecko's jutsu may not directly contribute to his odds of success as a crewmate, his inherent skills as a shinobi would prove more than sufficient. He was responsible for uncovering the plot between the Sound and Sand villages to destroy Kanoha, nearly exposing it to his comrades. Given his keenness in suspecting treachery, it follows that he would be equally adept at pursuing impostors and lying in wait until they made a kill. 3. Minato could use his tags to teleport across the entire map in seconds. Aptly named the Yellow Flash, Minato could teleport around any map in a matter of seconds by placing tags around it and activating his jutsu. This would have several functions, ones ranging beyond simply completing his tasks as a crewmate on a timely basis. Not only would it serve as an unofficial security camera, but it also enables him to report bodies the second he finds them or flee the scene from suspicious people. As a result, the impostors would be forced into a constant state of apprehension and fear, wondering if the fourth Hokage would show up. 2. Shirsui's unique Genjutsu could stop the impostors in their tracks. Shirsui had a particularly creative and unique application of his Genjutsu. He intended to use it in order to satiate the rage of his Uchiha clan members and prevent an impending war. If he attempted a similar strategy with his crew members and universally gave the suggestion that no killing will be done, he would pacify the impostors and allow his allies to complete their task safely, all without realizing who was actually guilty of betraying him in the first place. 1. Naruto's shadow clones could flood the entire map. Naruto was able to create and disperse hundreds of shadow clones, effectively allowing him to be present in every part of the map at once. This would make it impossible for the impostors to attack anyone, as their kill cooldown at a minimum duration of 10 seconds could only defeat a single double or crewmate at a time. As a result, the killer's options are harrowingly limited either they attempt their work and immediately incriminate themselves or watch in frustration as their enemies slowly but surely win the game by completing tasks.